come on my dears we proceed further in chapter number 1 last time we had finished all the sums from exercise correct now if you have remembered in the beginning of this chapter i had given one problem to solve at home i had given that problem for your homework i hope you must have found the answer and if not then i just appeal everybody to just pay very nice attention on the screen so that you will understand that problem okay let me remind you about the statement of that problem what was the statement inside the atom inside each atom of one element the number of down quarks is greater than number of up quarks by 1 and if total number of up and down quarks in that atom is 105 then the type of element is dash. So, you are supposed to find out the type of element the same problem I had given you in extra point number 2 perhaps in the second lecture of this chapter. Okay. You have the notes so you can refer it now let us go for the solution look <coughs> suppose number of up quarks is x number of up quarks I just assume x then it is given in the statement that number of down quarks is greater than number of up quarks by 1. So, if number of up quarks is x then number of down quarks will be greater than x by 1 that is x plus 1 correct fine. Now, total number of up and down quarks they have given in the statement equal to 105. What is number of up quarks? It is x. What is number of down quarks? x plus 1 and their summation is given to you 105. x plus x that is 2 x transfer this 1 here 105 minus 1 that is 104. Find out x it is 104 upon 2 that is 52 correct. So, number of up quarks is 52. If number of up quarks is 52 what will be number of down quarks greater than 52 by 1 that is 53 correct because number of down quarks is greater than number of up quarks by 1 correct fine. And you can see 52 plus 53 that total is 105 okay, fine. Now, total charge of up and down quarks my dears try to understand this mathematical step very clearly what I have written here total charge of up and down quarks tell me inside the atom which particles have quark composition proton and neutron correct proton and neutron and then the proton and neutrons they reside inside the nucleus correct. So, when you want to find out total charge of all types of quarks up and down then you should consider charge of those particles which have quark composition. Now, which particles have quark composition proton and neutron, but they reside inside the nucleus. So, you can consider as if it is the total charge of nucleus, but inside nucleus neutrons do not have any charge charge is with proton only that is positive charge one proton has charge plus E and such a z number of protons are there inside each nucleus of atom having atomic number z correct. So, for one proton if charge is E what is the positive charge of nucleus it is positive charge of z number of protons where z is atomic number of given element for one proton charge is E for z protons it will be z into E correct. This will give me this will give me total positive charge of nucleus or you can say it is total charge of up quarks and down quarks because inside the nucleus there are protons and neutrons protons also have quark composition neutrons also have quark composition correct. In short you please remember total charge of all up quarks and down quarks inside the nucleus is going to give you total positive charge of that nucleus correct 
fine. Positive charge of any nucleus is Z into E, where Z is atomic number of given element and now let us find out total charge of up and down quarks. What is the charge of one up quark? It is 2 E by 3 correct and such how many up quarks are there? X number of up quarks are there. So, I just multiply by X. What is charge of one down quark? It is minus E by 3 correct and such how many down quarks are there? x plus 1. So, I just multiply by x plus 1 correct fine and this is going to give me total charge of nucleus which is positive charge which is plus z into E simple fine. Now, number of up quarks is 52 x is 52 put x equal to 52 here also 52 plus 1 that is 53 correct rest of the values I have kept as it is. Now, throughout this equation you just cancel E, cancel E, this E, this E and this E you can cancel ok. 52 is a 52 to the 52 to the 104 upon 3 I have written here plus minus minus 53 upon 3 I have written here and you have cancel E. So, left is Z. Now, just multiply each term by 3 then here it is 104 minus 53 and when you multiply by 3 here it will be 3 z do not forget to multiply here also got it and now 104 minus 53 that is 51. So, 3 z equals to 51 then what is z 51 upon 3 that is 17. Now, tell me what is that element which has atomic number 17 it is none but chlorine. So, the type of element which is asked in the statement in the numerical example which I had given you that type of element is none but chlorine. So, answer is chlorine correct. I hope some of you might have got this answer correct. Thank you. My dears now let us see what do you mean by permittivity of given medium. See in the theoretical discussion of this chapter in one of the articles I had introduced this physical quantity which was epsilon 0 it was permittivity of vacuum. If it is permittivity of any another medium then you may show it by symbol epsilon correct. But at that time I had given only name of this quantity I had not given any explanation correct explanation is not there in the textbook. So, nobody will ask you, but just for your kind knowledge and satisfaction let us see what do you mean by permittivity of a given medium correct. Look <coughs> every charge has its own electric field in the surrounding region correct. So, it is the basic nature of electric charge to produce electric field. For a positive charge its uh, electric field lines are going away from it. For a negative charge electric field lines are pointing towards it correct. But practically we find that for the same quantity of electric charge when we place it in different media then the strength of electric field at a given point from that charge is different different. It means that the strength of electric field in the surrounding region surrounding to a given electric charge will depend on type of medium correct. So, looking to this point we have defined one quantity whereby we can have some measure of how much strength of electric field will we have in a given medium because for the same charge if you keep it in different media then strength of electric field is different different correct fine. Now, keeping this point in mind that vacuum allows a given charge to have maximum strength of electric field and other media depending upon its type allow weaker electric field as compared to vacuum correct. In vacuum you can have maximum strength of electric field in other media you have rather weaker electric field for the same charge. 
So, keeping this point in mind, how we have introduced the permittivity, I am showing you measure of reciprocal of capacity of a given medium to allow electric field lines to pass through it is given by a physical quantity called permittivity of that medium. Measure of reciprocal of capacity of a given medium to allow electric field lines to pass through it is given by a physical quantity called permittivity of that medium. Why we say reciprocal of capacity of allowing electric field lines? Because in vacuum we have maximum number of electric field lines passing through it and for vacuum permittivity is minimum. Right. So, that medium which allows maximum number of electric field lines to pass through it has minimum permittivity and just speak reverse that medium which allows minimum number of electric field lines to pass through it has maximum permittivity. Right. So, smaller is the permittivity then greater is the number of electric field lines which can pass through a given medium. Right. Depending upon this, we have given the introduction of permittivity like this measure of reciprocal of capacity of a given medium to allow electric field lines to pass through it is given by one physical quantity called permittivity of that medium. Got it? Fine. Now, let us go for exact definition of permittivity. My dears, you may refer a large number of reference books, hardly in some reference book you will find the explanation about permittivity, hardly. Then so far definition is concerned, it is given almost nowhere. I have referred so many reference books, I have not seen it in any reference book, correct. And so, inspired by that, I just decided to prepare definition of permittivity. Recently, I have prepared the definition of permittivity, exact definition of permittivity. You can give it this way, I am showing you. Look, just recall the formula for magnitude of electric field produced by a point charge. Remember, it was E equals to k q upon r square, k into charge upon distance square, correct. Now, what is small k? It was proportionality constant coming in Coulomb's law. For vacuum, we had written in place of small k 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0, but for other medium, you can write 1 upon 4 pi epsilon, 1 upon 4 pi epsilon, where epsilon is permittivity of a given medium, correct. Now, q upon r square I have kept as it is. Now, we want definition of epsilon, so just make it subject of the equation. Transfer this epsilon here and capital in the denominator. So, now it is q upon 4 pi r square into 1 upon e, correct. Just take this point charge, magnitude of this point charge as 4 pi coulomb. Just take this r equal to 1 meter. If it is so, then tell me just place the value of q which is 4 pi coulomb, value of r is 1 meter and this 1 upon e I have kept as it is. Now, this 4 pi 4 pi will cancel. Now, epsilon is 1 upon e. So, using this fact we can define permittivity of a given medium this way. The reciprocal of electric field produced by a point charge of magnitude 4 pi coulomb at a point which is at distance 1 meter from that charge is called permittivity of a given medium. I repeat reciprocal of electric field produced by a point charge of magnitude 4 pi coulomb at a distance of 1 meter when kept in a given medium is called permittivity of that medium. Last time 
reciprocal of electric field produced by a point charge of magnitude 4 pi coulomb at a distance of 1 meter when kept in a given medium is called permittivity of that medium correct. My dears I just assure you that uh, this definition you will not find anywhere this specially I have prepared just because of the fact that I was just very keen to give exact definition for permittivity that is why I have done this effort I hope you have understood. Okay.